in the commentaries, we do get quite a bit of criticism. I think Boris Johnson's piece in The Telegraph, it seems to me the only piece really that's understood what we're about. Um, Boris uh, says, the electorate conceives of the Tory party as a bunch of pinstriped, booper-backed bastards <laughs> who have a secret plan in some central office safe to close down the hospitals and turn the remaining school playgrounds into ASDA car parks. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I think Boris is the only, he's really the only one of the commentators who understood that, uh, what, what Peter and William were saying last night. The Guardian, um, not for the first time in recent uh, weeks, is quite sympathetic, describing Peter as the high priest of the free market and says that he slayed the most persistent ghost of Thatcherism. So that was, uh, from our point of view, given we, were, we thought we were running into some problems with that story yesterday afternoon, it, it worked out rather well for us, I think. But that wasn't how it seemed the following day, as the party reacted with outrage to the proposed U-turn, and the press competed to predict how soon Haig would be kicked out. <laughs>